So, another thought I had is get some fucking sunglasses. God damn. Eh, black. There we go. Ha. So, how the fuck are you gonna twist and misconstrue someone's words and then demand that they apologize? You know, because they said something, did something you don't like. So you go, put them on blast, point out what they did or said when they really didn't say all that. You, you, tw you twisted shit. You morphed it. You fucking suited it to your little shitty agenda. And then you're going to demand a damn apology from them. Really? That's crazy. That's some ass backward shit. Nobody owes you fuck, first off. Second, who's supposed to apologize to who? You fucking put them on blast. Not giving a shit if they get fired from their jobs. Not giving a shit about if their kids get taken from them. If they lose their home. If they get beaten up. If they get killed. You don't give a fuck. Who owes who the fucking apology? Not your damn minds. So y'all, look, I've been a sensitive ass bitch myself. I have been a bitch. I'm not proud of it. Looking back on it, I've learned some shit. So here I am trying to tell you, don't fucking be a dick. Don't go assuming what people fucking mean, especially when it's just text, okay? You can't hear people. You don't know their tone. You don't know them personally. You cannot just assume. You can go ahead and put the ass in assumption. I, I don't fucking care. I'm just saying, if you're gonna put people on blast not giving two shits and a fuck, what happens to them because of your goddamn big mouth? You're the fuck up and you owe them the apology. I know, there's a lot of YouTubers and shit I'm thinking about in my head right now where they have actually made apology videos, and I'm just going... Apology for what? Saying something dumb? You know, making a bad judgment? You don't owe, no, they don't owe you a fucking apology. They do not. They can correct themselves, and whatever. I especially think it's funny when y'all take something somebody said years ago and hold it against them. I don't... People in the right mind go, well, that was years ago, and they've changed, so... Right? I don't know, mate. Some of y'all are a little fucked up. And that's coming from me. Oh, shit. I'm not better than nobody. I don't claim some kind of superiority here. I've been a total idiot. And I still do idiotic and say idiotic things. But, you know, I'm like an absurdist at this point. Just everything's fucking stupid. So I just make fun of everything. Self-included. You know? Get on my level. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But I like to hope that eventually you will not feel this need to put other people on blast, to draw attention to yourself in that way. It's not a positive way. First off, it's not good for you. It's not good for anybody. It makes us all look fucking dumb when we put people on blast. Now, if somebody comes at you in some way, dude, blast them. If they threaten you some shit, yeah, fuck them. Fuck them. But... You know, only if you can prove that shit, though. Now, if you're, like I said, if you're taking things out of context and twisting those words up, uh, there's no helping you. So all I can do is hope that eventually you will be okay. And feel secure within yourself to just focus on you. You know, not anybody else. Nobody else really matters in the long run. I mean, it's, it, you gotta be nice to people and shit. Be nice to yourself. Be nice to other people. I'm not saying be friendly and kiss assy. I'm saying just, you know, chill. Chill the fuck out, right? Hey, I am a work in progress myself, man. Okay? I, I like to hope we'll be okay. Chase face! Come on. My space case, chase face. Whoa. This guy. So anyway, hope y'all have a wonderful day. And, uh, I'm leaking. Uh, yeah. Flattering video. It's not pouring out of my face. Stuff it back up there like the classy fucking lady that I am. Wipe my fingers on my shirt and in my hair. Mmm, gel. I'm gonna go.